Pentax LX really offers just about everything I'm looking for in a professional camera system. About really sleek design. This thing looks like a submersible device. A, you know, you look at the nuclear powered submarines and I look at this and it's virtually identical. It looks like a sports car. Beautiful piece of technology here. The design is simple enough. It's subdued. It doesn't have giant flares of aesthetic triumph or anything like that. It's not posing, trying to be something that it's not. It is a very basic, very simplified, deliberate, professional camera system. Look at the top here. I've got the shutter speed dial. I've got the ASA exposure compensation, and that's it. It's easy. Like there's, there's very little to mess up here. Two of the other things I really like is the subtle modularity, which isn't really a phrase, but I'm gonna coin it right now because there are a few different prism options that you can toss on here, which is great. Like if you want a wider sports view prism, so that way you know you can keep it a little further from your eye, they've got that. They also have a simple prism with no hot shoe on it. But on this prism, even though that is the simple model, it still has a focusing diopter. So if it doesn't necessarily work for your eye, you can make adjustments on the prism itself, which is a feature not a lot of cameras have. On top of that, you also have different focus screen options that you can swap in and out of. And it really just is the swan song of Pentax design. Because when I think of like the great Pentax cameras, I think of their like pieces of their brand, the Asahi Flexes, uh, leading into the Pentax S series of cameras, then going into the Spotmatics, leading into something like the MX, and then naturally to this. And I think each one of those progressions, you saw an increase in functionality of the camera, whether that be with a meter, with a new lens mount, a better shutter speed selection, whatever it is, you see these like natural progressions. And I think the LX not only welcomes in that new technology, but I also think it harkens back to the simplification of the Pentax brand. Because ultimately when I think of the brands, okay, I think of Nikon, Canon, Minolta, Olympus, Pentax. Olympus is easy because they just made the same camera and then put another number on it and more electronics in it. Nikon, I think of like professional, probably a little bit more complicated than it needs to be and kind of bigger cameras. Minolta, I think of massive cameras, a little bit cheaper to some degree, but still pretty quality camera systems overall. And then Canon, I kind of think of as the second tier to Nikon in terms of marketing to that professional grade. Not all their cameras were really up to snuff, kind of like the JV League, okay? When I think of Pentax though, I think of small, simple camera systems. I think of small, purposeful. Everything on here serves a purpose and you can use as much of it as you want to or you can use none of it and still be just fine. And that to me is something that I really admire and I always have about the Pentax brand. If I'm going traveling somewhere and as I do I like to bring multiple cameras, the last thing I'm worried about is the 35 millimeter SLR because I know I have an MX that will fit in any in any bag. It will fit in my pocket if I need to. If I've got the LX, it's essentially the same size. Put a 40 millimeter pancake lens on it, there's not a bag in this world it doesn't fit in. It is so compact and it is so versatile. Of all of the cameras that I've really yearned to own and to shoot with over the years, the Nikon F3s, the random dog in the field here, Contax S2s, any of these camera systems that I'm like, ah, I, just, I, I wanna get my hands on, the LX has not only been one of those for me, but it also has delivered in ways that I can't really put my finger on. Hey, how's it going, guy? Making friends. I think it has ultimately delivered an experience that I truly, and I mean this in the most pretentious way possible, have cherished. The film roll that I shot through this was just a roll of Pro Image 100, and the shots honestly were fine. It was more or less just a practice of making sure that the camera works okay, seeing how it would fit in kind of my day-to-day -day life, and I think the photos I got kind of showed that more so than anything. It was just kind of hanging out with people, whatever. But I just loaded up a roll of kind of old expired Fuji 200, which is 
a film stock I'm a big fan of, and it does break my heart a little bit that they don't make it anymore, but regardless, this is a role of film that I really like, and I wanna shoot it through this camera that I also really like to fully enjoy and appreciate that experience. That level of deliberation, that level, level of thought, and that level of foresight and planning makes me like this camera even more because I'm inspired to use it in ways that I'm not inspired to use other cameras, in ways that I really haven't felt all that inspired recently. With a camera such as this, there's so much to enjoy. My most favorite part about it is how unassuming it is. I mean, you look at this and it could just be a generic standard SLR. When you use it, when you advance it, when you fire the shutter, all of those little elements just fuel the sense of quality and passion that was put into the design of the system in a way that you don't feel in other cameras. I really do enjoy this camera. I enjoy the sensation of shooting it. I enjoy the look of it. I enjoy all of the, the minor design qualities that have gone into it. The, everything about this feels very purposeful in a way that I can really appreciate. And it does make me want to be a better photographer. Pretty tall order. Honestly, I feel like I gotta up my game in order to use this. And I like the idea of that. I like that challenge. I like that kind of call to action. Do I think that the Pentax LX is the perfect Pentax SLR? No, not really. I, I think that's kind of subject for debate. It really depends on what you're looking for, your experience level, what you admire, what you like, what you want to shoot with. It's a very loaded question. But for me, I think that this serves as the perfect culmination of Pentax's history of SLR design and innovation. I think it really brings their best to the table and serves as a swan song of Pentax design and delivers so much quality, so much consistency, so much professionalism, such a compact body, just like all of the Pentax cameras before it. Where I stand on this, the ultimate question though, is does this replace the Nikon F3 for me? Is this now my new favorite 35 millimeter SLR camera system? I do know for a fact I will be shooting with this much more often and I feel much more inclined to use it as now I know it does work, that it fits perfectly into my lifestyle into how I like to take photos. I'm very excited for the opportunity to use this more. I'm excited to get this roll finished through it and just excited to be challenged by this camera and to become a better photographer because of this camera. And that's truly how I feel about this system. I feel like it's going to motivate me and drive me to be a better photographer. So in summation, that's what I think about the Pentax LX. It's fantastic. Get one yourself if you want to or don't, up to you. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it as always. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you on the next one.